Greek Shabbat committee high school. Now, we decided that although we're sending an awful lot of group calls and the weekly updates and so on, we still think a video message each week might be a good way of people catching up with key messages and just hearing what's going on at the school. Believe it or not, it's now seven weeks into a nine-week term, and none of us really knew what to expect when we came back this term. However, I'm glad to say that on the whole, things have gone really, really well. I firstly reflect on the fact that the commitment and the effort from our pupils is very, very strong. I'm really delighted with you know, how all the children are doing. The school is very settled, very positive behaviour, and I've got to say the teachers are working incredibly hard to get pupils back on track to make up for this five-month absence and uh, you know, the setback that that was to us in terms of schooling and so on. Now, the attendance did dip uh, about two or three weeks ago, and following some advice that we issued to parents from Jason Leach, I'm glad to say it did recover uh, hugely, slightly down on where we normally are, but it wouldn't be seen as a major issue at the present time. However, one of my first key messages that Fridays have always been a bit of an issue for attendance. And I would really, really encourage you to make sure that on a Friday, we don't let casual abstinence slip into the system. Uh, we often see a 2% decline in attendance on a Friday. We'd really like to see that go on Saturday. First thing, make sure that your child attends school all of the five days. Really good thing. Now, one of the things we're aware of is this year, we'll not be able to do parents' evenings. And we are making sure that our tracking system is as robust as possible. And indeed, we're enhancing it with more opportunity for comments to be made when they're needed. And I think a very, another important thing there is that when your child is experiencing difficulty in school, we're just making sure that we're quick to pick up the phone, let you know what the issues are, so we can sort them out together. So I think that communication between school and home is really important. And we are aware that the parents' night being missing is a bit of an issue, but we can overcome it with just clear communication by phone and as I say, an enhanced tracking procedure. Now, on other things that we're really looking for support for the school, um, there are one or two things that are worth mentioning. The first thing is face masks. Could I please ask that you make sure your child has a face mask with them in the morning? This has improved, it's a lot better than it was, but we're still handing out a large number of face masks every day. That comes directly out of the school funds and it stops us being able to buy other things as well. So parental support on face masks, and they're really important in terms of keeping the COVID out of the school, that would really be appreciated. I would also say that could you please keep reminding your children that they must wear masks and uh, obey social distancing in the local shops and the Kingdom Centre and so on. We're still getting quite a number of complaints and from members of the public about behaviour from pupils in the Kingdom Centre at Morrison's and so on. However, I've got to say the shops themselves seem actually very positive about the children's behaviour. Maybe what we're seeing is a nervousness in the community at large and people just not being used to seeing large groups of children together. Um, remember that within school there's no social distancing and that must make it difficult for children to then switch on to the two metre distancing rules when they go into shops and so on. But please encourage them as much as possible to do so so that uh, the members of the public feel at ease with the children when they're around them. Now, beyond that, um, we also have a bit of an issue, and it's a surprising one, with the local play park. We haven't had this in the past, but now more and more children are looking to get fresh air at breaks and lunch times. And the play park has become a bit of a focus. And there's been a bit of, you know, sort of horseplay and so on. And there's been one or two incidents. So what I'd advise is that children don't go to the play park. There's plenty of space in the school grounds and playground to run around and so on. We don't supervise the play park. And although we're very sympathetic to children who end up in trouble in the play park, there's often not a lot we can do about it. So my advice would be, don't go to the play park. It's not the place to be. Now, finally, for this uh, particular update, just want to mention a little bit about the SQA and indeed this year's examinations. As things stand, we're waiting for announcement by John Swinney, which we expect to be on the 5th of October, to say what this year's exam diet is going to look like. Now, we can't be sure. There's various rumours going around. The newspapers have had stories and so on. But until that announcement is made, we cannot have absolute clarity. What I will say is that our teachers are working really hard to gather as much information, do extra assessments as they possibly can. So right from the beginning, we're looking to gather evidence about examination performance in fourth, fifth and sixth year, right from the start. 
And from that point of view, my final request to parents this morning would be to ask your children to work really hard right from the off. Don't think, that's okay, I'll leave it till after Christmas, I'll start working then. These tests that they're currently doing could actually directly impact on the grades that they achieve at the end of the year. We just don't know how this is going to play out. So please encourage them to take every test, every bit of legal work, every bit of um, assessment very, very seriously so that they build up the best evidence they can. We were very aware last year that when we did our estimate grades, most children were very easy to estimate because we had very strong evidence, but there was a small cohort who we reckon were quite able, but were probably thinking they'd start to work really hard at Easter holidays. We shut down two weeks before Easter. We had very little evidence to go on in terms of trying to grade these children. We want to make sure that this year, nothing like that happens. It can only be overcome if children are working hard and making sure the assessments are being done as well as they possibly can right from the start. In particular mention, boys in this regard, because I have to say that when we looked at the evidence, the boys' performance was not as strong as the girls, simple as that. And this is something we need uh, to be aware of, that boys are just as capable, but maybe don't apply themselves quite as well, and we're going to address that. So, what I'd say to you is, uh, please make sure that if there's any concerns and so on, that you contact the guidance department or the school by email and so on. I'm perfectly happy to deal with any queries or concerns uh, at this time. We know how anxious uh, many people are, and we look forward to making a regular video call hopefully keeping you by up to date with everything that's going on at the school. So for just now, thank you and goodbye and look forward to seeing you all again soon. Bye just now.